God loves me this year. I mean, yeah. Today is November 4th. I mean, yeah. And what can I review for my birthday today since I am 19? Oh, it's me against the universe. Oh, should I review Phineas and Ferb Cast Against the Universe? Oh, I can actually. So, yeah. So, today, guys, for my 19th birthday today, so today I'm going to be reviewing Phineas and Ferb the movie Candace Against the Universe. So, yeah. So, before I go, I'm going to say this. I hope you don't have waffles downstairs, Mom. So, yeah. So, overall, guys, I'm going to say this. Cue the intro. And today I'm going to be reviewing this movie on my channel for my 19th birthday of this year. So yeah. Hey guys, this is Evans Disney's Movie Media Turn 22 here. And today, guess what guys? And today I'm going to be reviewing Fitting Superb the movie Candace Against the Universe. Came in the year of 2020. So yeah. So I'm going to read this plot on the internet. So yeah. So basically what the plot is about after Candace is abducted by aliens... Phineas and Ferb embark on a journey to rescue her from the, her cape. So yeah, so that's basically what the plot's about about this movie. So yeah, and also I did remember this movie actually did came out, even though I did had a, a D twenty three gold member advanced screening on August um on twenty seventh of twenty twenty, and also it also got released on Disney Plus on. August 28th of 2020 as well, which, yeah, and also, um, um, yeah, which, yeah, and even though this movie is actually directed by Bob Brown, which, sorry, I mispronounced his last name, correct me if I'm wrong if I did, actually, but, yeah, so, yeah, guys, so, what do I think of this movie? I have to say, I mean, this is definitely a really good Phineas and Ferb movie, even though I do have some issues with this movie, but that's okay, actually. It's still a really good Phineas and Ferb movie on its own, actually. I mean, the cast in this movie, speaking of the cast, now let's talk about the cast of this movie, which, they're so great as it is, like, like Ashley Tensdale is definitely really hilarious and fantastic as um, Phineas and Ferb, and... And even Dan Pavenmeyer in this movie is still absolutely hilarious as um as Dr. Heinz sees in Stephen's Switch, which um 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 Dave Dan Pavenmeyer is actually the creator of Phoenix and Fur, which is really cool actually. He didn't also um voice on Stephen Smurfs, he's also the creator of Phoenix and Ferb as well, which is very exciting. And even the rest of the cast in this movie, like the actor who played Phoenix and Ferb was really great. And, and even, um, even, um, I mean, Olivia N Olsen as Vanessa Dutton-Smurch was also really great in this movie as well. And also, um, even the actor who played Ferb was great in this movie, and Isabella, the actress who played Isabella in this movie was also really good as well. And also, yeah. And now, okay. Let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by um, Dan Danny Jacob, which who also wrote the theme songs for um, Lilo and Stitch, The Emperor's New School, and also King Possible. Oh, just to name a few. So yeah, but also I thought his score of this movie was absolutely phenomenal i mean it's definitely fantastic and yeah and honestly yeah i mean it's definitely really good as well and fits the theme of the movie very well actually and so yeah and now let's talk about actually the songs of this movie 
which um we have it's a beautiful day uh, girls day out the universe is against me me our leader using hero and yeah i thought the songs of this movie were really good actually and also oh well, um this is our battle song and us against the universe which were also really good songs in this movie so yeah and also um um yeah i mean enough said it so yeah so and also oh now let's talk about the animation of this movie which honestly it still holds up to this day two years later i mean yeah even though the animation of phineas and ferb the movie candace against the universe uses the same animation quality as the show actually but yeah it still looks really good actually just like with um um that phoenix um phoenix and ferb um across the second dimension used that um the same animation quality as the show actually back in 2011 actually that got released on disney channel back in 2000 in um 11 so yeah so overall guys i have nothing else to say sorry if this review was a little bit short than expected but that's okay so yeah so overall guys i have nothing else to say i mean i mean um phineas and ferb ferb the movie candace against the universe is definitely a really fun and um and actually um great um um phineas and ferb movie so yeah so yeah, so yeah, I guess so. If you haven't seen Phineas and Ferb Kings Against the Universe, where have you been? I highly recommend it. It is streaming on Disney Plus. So yeah, so I'm gonna give Phineas and Ferb Kings Against the Universe a nine out of ten great movie. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this video? Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to like this video. So yeah, so. Stay tuned for my review of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which will be coming out on um, next Friday on November 11th. And my short review on Nick Knock, which will, which is a Pixar short, which I'm going to be reviewing on on Tuesday, November number, um, 15th of this year. So stay tuned for that. So yeah. So... I'll see you guys there, and happy 15th anniversary of my channel. So yeah, so I'll see you guys there, and bye.